So, uh, welcome to the Raffles Jakarta. I'm here standing just right outside the hotel. It's in the morning, there's the entrance. So, let's make our way to it. This is one of Jakarta's finest hotels. And you can definitely tell as soon as you enter the lobby, which is, by the way, inspired with the rest of the hotel by art. You see? It's pretty insane. Bellagio-esque, in a way. So that's the lobby. And over to the right, you have the writer's bar. Obviously, the Raffles brand started in Singapore with the original Raffles Singapore on Beach Road. It has expanded into one of Accor's and actually just the world's finest hotel chains. So this is the bar in the lobby. It looks like a fantastic place to just relax. I'll probably be using this later today. They have a grand piano here. Nice. Would you call that a chandelier? I'm not sure, but look how it almost looks like it's bursting through the ceiling. This hotel is very art heavy, as you'll soon see. There's an outdoor section too. The little fountain, and you can see. Writer's Bar. All right, moving back in, heading back towards the lobby. As of July 2022, you are still required to wear masks in the hotel. And uh, that's the concierge desk. Here's that beautiful lobby again with the beautiful lighting at the top and the red velvet carpet along with the art. To the left you have uh, restrooms. And then behind this painting that's glittering is a seating area. Here, seating area, and there is reception. And straight through here are the elevators, the guest floors. So, on this tour today, I'll be taking you to the Arts Cafe where the insane breakfast is, which uh, opens in about 30 minutes. Then, but first, I'll be taking you here to the Raffles Spa and swimming pool. These other floors I do not have access to. So let's go. All right, do I need a key? It's not. Let's roll. I'll see you there. We are at the 14th floor. To the left is the Raffle Spa where I enjoyed a treatment yesterday. I'll attach a clip of the facilities. Sorry, that was weird. I'll attach a clip of the facilities here uh, at the spa. It was uh, pretty nice and quite cheap, if I do say so myself.
the ceiling. Ah, oh, cool. Experience shower. Pretty cool. Not for me though. I gotta take a shower. Is this heated? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna change and get out of here. And then to the right here is the actual swimming pool. Here you have a seating area again. Kids club to the right, which we'll check out real quick. It's pretty smoggy out here. So this is the residences, I guess. Didn't know that they had residences here. But to the left is the kids club, which is locked. And then the fitness center. I have not even been here yet, so. So you have uh, bathrooms and changing rooms. And obviously you have the fitness center here. People are working out. It's quite nicely stocked. Hello. And then uh, let's make our way to the pool from here. Pull, okay, pull, all right. Anyway, here is the pool and the garden, which is something that is very unique. I've never seen in a hotel before. This must be the poolside restaurant where you could get um, drinks and uh, food, I guess. This looks really interesting. Raffles infused coconuts. I'm gonna try that later. And here's the QR code. If you wanna join raffles or the menu. All right. Now here's the main pool area. It's a uh, pretty, pretty, pretty stunning. I think this is the shallow end. Right here. Oh, you see a water feature over there. Oh, the man, oops, sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the shallow end. And then this is the regular pool. It's pretty deep, looks like. I don't think I'll have time to use this on this uh, stay, so I'm just gonna take it in right now, I guess. Pretty decently sized, and then in uh, the very end of the pool over here, I think it gets a little bit more shallow, and you have like built-in sun loungers, which is really cool. They are submerged in the water. Nice. And all around, you have cabanas. Unfortunately, the jacuzzi slash whirlpool seems to be closed here. It's under maintenance. But honestly, the most interesting part of this floor is definitely, oh, more cabanas down here, is definitely this garden that I can see from my room, by the way. But look at this. Look at this garden. I'll just walk through really quick. It's pretty huge. You could probably, you know, one lap is probably a kilometer or something like that. But let me just walk through real quick. Look how finely manicured this place is. It's just immaculate. Fantastic. You have water features. Flowers, all so neat. Like I said, this is a very art-focused hotel, so you'll see there's one statue over there, or art piece, whatever. Another blue one over there, and they're just dotted throughout the hotel. If you look at the walls, sometimes they're etched in. They have like little areas to sit here. It rained last night, so there are puddles of water. We have a kid's playground over there. But yeah, this goes all the way around. So, probably won't go all the way around, but you get the idea. It's pretty insane. 
And then there's a hotel and the residence is at the very top, I guess. Okay, so that wraps up the public spaces which I have access to. There is a raffles club, but I'm not staying in a raffles club room. I don't have access to that. Um, there's ballrooms. I don't have access to that, obviously. don't have an event. Um, and there's um, some sort of meeting space. Other than that, the last thing I'm going to show you is the arts cafe where breakfast is held. And it's a pretty, pretty stunning. Probably one of the best breakfast hotel breakfasts I've ever seen and experienced. So, yeah, here's the corner of the garden. I'll just wrap up with this. And as you can see, it goes all the way around there. And there's another red statue. All right. Raffles Jakarta pool deck. All right, so I just got seated here at the Arts Cafe. Uh, I thought it opened at 7, but I guess not. It opens way earlier, and it's already crowded. But I do want to take a video of this place for you guys. So here is, let's start here in a dim sum corner of it, where we have a soto daging, which is an Indonesian soup. Let's see here. I guess you make it on your own with the toppings. And here's the dim sum cart, which has a lot of stuff. Siomai, some green dumpling, uh, more of that green dumpling. Sorry. Uh, Chashio Pao, oh my guy, and Hakao, which is very impressive. Six kinds of dim sum. We have uh, this pecking duck, which is pretty insane here. And they usually make it for you fresh. Some sort of um, dumpling again. And making our way over here is the show kitchen. Look at that. And they're making everything fresh here. And I'll show you the menu for that. I think that, that menu up there is for lunch. Here's the Western food section, beef sausages, baked beans, chicken sausage, same thing as that one. So, okay, not too Western here, vegetable biryani, oatmeal, some oatmeal here. Hopefully I'm not fogging up the lens. Grilled tomatoes. Oh, the plate is hot. Oh. Some more Indian selections here. I'm not too familiar with that. Potato wedges, okay, more American stuff. Potato wedges. Maybe not American, Western, I should say. Roasted chicken, not here yet, with some sauce. Chicken cream soup. Okay, not my thing. But impressive, right? And you got breads and whatever that is. And uh, egg drop corn soup. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. That's definitely not Western, though. And then moving on, you have this uh, cold cuts area. How impressive this is. All these condiments, they must cut everything right here. This machine. Toppings, strawberry jam, apple jam, all sorts of weird, interesting things over here. Cheeses, salads, pretty self-explanatory stuff. Uh, your dressings. Moving on to the center area, we have fruit. Interesting looking fruit. I'm not sure what that is and they don't have it labeled. I know that's apples. Grapes, strawberries. Um, man, I forgot what this is called. It looks familiar. Longman, this is amazing. 
fruit in Southeast Asia, apples, I guess, and uh, you cut stuff up here. So you don't have to cut it yourself, along with uh, milk. And then you have some infused waters, more fruit-based infused water, and uh, more green-based infused water. And uh, you have some jamu, which is an Indonesian drink. It's supposed to be very healthy. And uh, more juices and yogurts down here. Not labeled, but it's self-explanatory. Here are the ingredients that they use to make jamu. I think this is tea and maybe orange juice. And moving on to the more Indonesian section. They have granola. <laughs> I guess maybe they're not really sectioned out. They're just uh, a bunch of food. And more cereals. Cereals, why would you eat cereal in a buffet like this? A book, Indonesian crackers. It's quite good. Steamed rice, pretty self-explanatory. Chicken fried rice. Ooh, that looks really good. Fried vermicelli. That looks good. I should eat that. I need more veggies. No label though. And then you have more Indonesian crackers. You have congee with an insane amount of toppings. Starting with the sauces. And then the actual physical toppings here. Take a look at the kanji real quick. They got kanji, porridge, whatever you want to call it. There are the toppings. More krupuk. This one's a little bit bitter, I think. And then, uh, over here you have more dishes. Seems like some sort of fried fish or squid. Chicken, teriyaki chicken maybe? Not sure. Um, oh, I know this, tempeh. Indonesian food, not my favorite, but a lot of people love it. Mapo tofu. Yep. As you can see, this is pretty insane. I mean, there's just literally so much food. And this is breakfast, okay? And moving on, we have a sushi section. I mean, have you ever seen this at a breakfast buffet? Chawan Mushi. I believe you get served and you have sashimi. Good morning. I'm just taking a picture. You have a fresh sashimi here that they'll serve to you. Actual sushi rolls. That look pretty good. Definitely made from that fresh sushi, or fish, sorry. You have rolls, you can serve yourself here. You have obviously, wow, look at that, flour wasabi. All the toppings you need. More rolls. I think they're the same as uh, the left side. So just a few kinds. Toppings for your miso soup. And then actual miso soup under here. I believe this is probably for lunch, but yeah. But the sushi is available for breakfast. And finally, the last area is a patisserie of the hotel, which they convert into a bakery where you get all sorts of breads and sweet things. is pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. And more of a cup based. And lastly, that. All right, so that's the buffet section, which is absolutely huge. But not only that, you do get an a la carte menu. So let me show you that real quick. Wow. 
Pulse Arts Cafe. Yeah, this is the buffet. Again, extends all the way there. All right, I'll meet you back at my table. So I'm back on my table. Here's my coffee that I ordered earlier. And here is the menu for the show kitchen, which is a la carte menu. Look at that. I'm probably not gonna order any of this because I don't really eat that much for breakfast, but it's pretty uh, insane. The variety and the quality here. Definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book. So here's the beverage side of the menu. And that is it. So yeah, that's the Arts Cafe here at the Raffles Jakarta. It's pretty uh, magnificent and very luxurious, opulent, obviously. On the first floor of this stunning luxury hotel. Thanks for watching.